Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of sequence and series. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that A, B and C are in geometric progression with the common ratio R where A is not equal to zero means the first term cannot be equal to zero. And the common ratio, it is given to us that it is between zero and it can go till half. And further, the question says if 3A, 7B and 15C are first three terms. So first three terms of arithmetic progression are given to us as 3A, 7B and 15C. The question further says what is the fourth term of this arithmetic progression? So we need to figure out what is the fourth term of this arithmetic progression. And if I talk about the answer choices that are given to us here, they are A, second answer choice, 7 over 3A. The third answer choice, it's 5A. And the last one, it says 2 over 3A. So we need to basically find the answer in terms of A. Let's figure out how to solve this question. So first of all, we have told that A, B, C are in geometric progression. So whenever they are in geometric progression, let's say my first term is A. Then my second term, I can get that by just multiplying it with R. That is my common ratio. So B becomes A into R. And C, I want to find out. I'll again multiply my previous term. That is A, R with R again. So you get A, R square. Now, once I have my first three terms of the geometric progression, the question further says that 3a, 7b and 15c are my first three terms of arithmetic progression. Now, whenever the terms are in arithmetic progression, we have difference between the terms as a constant value. Now, once I have difference between the terms as a constant value, I get second term minus first term. It is equal to third term minus second term. So I have this entire thing. So that basically gives me 7B plus 7B, which is 14B. And that is equals to 3A plus 15C. So now if I put it, 14AR is equals to 3A, 15AR square. So you have this entire thing here. If I try to further solve this, I can just take 14AR. This gives me A common, 3 common. So you're left with a plus 5r square or you're left with 3a taken out. So nothing is left here, not even a. So you get 1 plus 5r square. From here, if you see actually your value of a gets cancelled out. So you have only the equation in terms of r square left. So if I see, I get 14 equals 14r equals 3 plus 15r square. So I get 15r square minus 14r plus 3 equals 0. Now, once I have this 15 into 3, which is 45, and this is 14. So I need two numbers such that the product is 45 and the sum 14. So I get that as 9 into 5. So 9R, 5R plus 3 equals 0. From here, I get first two and the next two terms. So from here, once I get first two terms underlined and the next two terms underlined, I just try to take out common. So from here, I can see I have three common. I have R common. So I'm left with 5R minus 3. Minus 1 common, you have again 5R minus 3. So from here, you get 3R minus 1 and 5R minus 3 equals 0. That gives me R is 1 over 3 or R is 5, 3 over 5. I have got two values for the common ratio, which is 1 third and 3 fifth. 3 fifth, if you see it is somewhere 0 0.6. One third, I know it is 0 0.33. So according to the condition of R that is given to us, it says that it should be between 0 and 0 0.5. So it cannot be greater than 0 0.5. And because of that, I can just cancel out this R as 0 0.6. So I get here that R is one third. So I have my common ratio of this as one third. Now further, once I have got R as one third, the question tells me that if 3A, 15C and 7B are your first three terms of arithmetic, we have been asked to find what is the fourth term of this arithmetic progression. 
So once I've got R as one third, I can just find out how much is the common difference between the terms in arithmetic progression. So common difference, I can just find out by subtracting second term from the first term or the third term from the second term, any one you can do. So from here you get 7B minus 3A. And if I put that B, we know it is AR and 3A. So AR, R we already know it is one third minus 3A. So that basically gives me A common 7 over 3 minus 3. And that gives me 7 over 3 minus 3 is 7 minus 9, which is minus 2 over 3. So you get minus 2 over 3A. Now, once I have got common difference for the arithmetic progression as minus 2 over 3a, I can just find out the question which is asked to us. That is fourth term of this arithmetic progression. We know nth term of arithmetic progression is just given by the formula. Nth term is first term plus n minus 1 times the difference. So if I just use the idea, I want to find the fourth term. So I'm putting n as 4. That gives me first term plus 4 minus 1, which is 3 times the difference. So I get my first term. First term of the arithmetic progression was given to me that these are the first three terms. So first term was A, 3A plus three times the difference we just figured out it was minus two over three. A. So that gives three and three canceled out. So you get three A minus two A and which gives me fourth term of arithmetic progression as A. So we have this value of the fourth term of arithmetic progression as A. And if you see the answer choice that matches here with the question, it is option A. So A becomes the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe on my channel and share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.